few years ago, I went to see live the Rolling Stones. The venue for that show was the Olympic Stadium Dress Company. After expecting the classic, like, I can get no satisfaction, start me up, give me shelter. After expecting the crazy and outstanding performance by Nick Jagger, which was delivered. After expecting a natural, the goosebumps guitar sound of Keith Richards. After expecting all that, I was hoping to have a first class top audio quality experience. Those big bands have tons of money to spend in audio quality, right? But I was pretty impressed that in some songs like Gimme Shelter, the audio went on and off in some occasions. I liked that concert a lot, but those parts where the audio was missing made my experience not to be a 10 out of a 10. That experience kept in my head, but I never thought about it again until last month when I went to see Metallica live in that same stadium. Before that, I already saw Metallica three times. I know that the Californian band invents a lot of money in stage arrangement, but they also spend a lot of money in audio equipment. All the three times before the last time, the audio quality was mind-blowing, but the fourth time was not like that. I heard the same issue the Stones had a few years ago. The audio went on and off in some parts. How is that possible? I mean, those are very big bands that are very well known for their live performances. Is it that they are getting old? Is it that they are not playing like before? Even though those are maybe true possible theories, I found out another thing. Sound is waves that travel through a medium. Yes, that medium is the air. When there's a lot of wind, the wave traveling might be altered. And if you are in an outdoor concert where there's a lot of wind, the mix between the waves and the sound can cause a phenomenon called refraction. If the sound waves travel in the same direction that the wind, the sound will bend to the ground. If the sound waves travel in the opposite direction that the wind, the sound will travel further away from the ground. And you know what? Both in Metallica and the Stones, besides the fact of being held in an open stadium, in both occasions there was a lot of wind coming from different directions. That made the sound deviate from their final destination, which was the audience, on several occasions. That made me think why such prestigious artists, such as Steven Wilson, perform their concert in closed venues. I understand the excitement that there might be when singing to 40,000 people in a very big open stadium, but I've personally come to a point where I don't care about pyro, fireworks, stage arrangement, all that stuff. I personally care now more about audio quality. So if one day I have to choose to see a band in a small venue or in a very big stadium, you know what my final decision will be. Or maybe I'm just lucky and I get to see them not in a windy day. What about you? Have you ever seen a band performing where the audio experience didn't satisfy you at all? Let me know in the comment section.